What's up guys, this is Sonny, back with another video. So today, basically I want to talk about the X58 build. I recently finished it, uh, it's basically I finished the build yesterday and I did uh, run some benchmark, uh, the half day yesterday I was running benchmark, half of the day. And uh, I did run uh, some benchmark, uh, now the video is already up if, uh, if you guys want to watch. Uh, so uh, I did run uh, Gaming Benchmark uh, Battlefield 4, GTA 5, Overwatch, uh, The Division, Crisis uh, 3, and a uh, Hitman. But there is only one uh, issue. So a game like GTA 5 or Witcher 3 or uh, Assassin's Creed uh, Syndicate. Uh, so those games, what do you have to do? Uh, if you try playing those games very high setting, uh, even if they are GTX 970, uh, what happened basically uh, is just a little... Uh, little shuttering and stuff. So what I'm thinking, a uh, game like GTA 5 or Witcher 3, GTA 5 and Witcher 3, those two games are basically uh, uh, CPU hungry games. So GTA 5, you need a, a good CPU to run that game. You can really uh, play this game with a, uh, like a low end uh, uh, CPU. So basically what I had to do with this game, um, when I was playing this game today, uh, the setting was like uh, very high. Uh, let me just jump in the graph. I don't know if you guys could see, but um, okay. So what I basically had to do, so I can play this game like smooth uh, frame. So I had to drop my setting from very very high to high setting. Now after I dropped the setting from very high to high setting, and just the game played flawlessly. I still run like 60, 61 FPS. And uh, the highest I jump uh, jump up to around uh, I believe like 75 to 80 that's rare, and the lowest I drop down to around like between 49 or 50. So what I want to let you guys know, like some of you are asking me, does the CPU bottleneck? The CPU will bottleneck if you try to max up the setting. Doesn't matter what type of graphic card you have. Like I have a GTX 970 here. That doesn't really matter. Uh, basically, what you need to do. Uh, GTA 5, you have to drop the settings a little bit to like high setting. Now, if you're playing a game like uh, uh, CSGO and stuff, you don't have to worry. Or if you're playing a game like uh, Battlefield 4, you don't need to worry. You can play ultra setting. But GTA 5 is it's a game, basically a CPU hungry game. CPU and VRM hungry game. So you, you need to drop your setting to uh, like a high setting. So if you guys are planning on building the same setup uh, like I have, um, you get, you're planning on getting an HP motherboard uh, and a uh, Xeon W3530 uh, processor. So basically same thing I have. So just remember, keep this in your mind. Because uh, we are not using a very high-end or overclockable CPU. Uh, you know, so we are using something old and, uh, and you know, it's not uh, for today's standard, uh, the CPU. Uh, you know, it's a low-end CPU. So. The reason uh, the CPU still performs really well because it's a quad core CPU with hyper threading. So uh, when the game does look for uh, like you know more than four core, it's there. So let's just uh, play some real world gameplay uh, and just show you guys. But uh, before that, I want to talk to you guys about uh, some of the stuff. If you're planning on building uh, same setup uh, as mine with a HP Z400 motherboard, if you are planning on going with HP Z4 motherboard, then you need to keep uh, you know some stuff in uh, mind. So basically. Um, what you need to do if you are picking up a Z, uh, HP Z400 motherboard, you remember uh, it does come with a 24 pin, uh, a 24 pin uh, power motherboard, but what you need to do, you need to modify your aftermarket power supply, you need to run two 12 volt wire and one ground wire. Without doing that, your CPU is uh, not going to run, the system is not going to turn on. Also, what you need to do, I'll, I'll show you, uh, basically in my first video, I, I think I did show you guys, you guys need to uh, drill a standoff. So basically, if you have an ATX case, uh, what you need to do, basically, you need to uh, uh, place the motherboard and the right right top corner one is like right up there. You need to drill a hole there and, uh, you know, install a standoff. And so that's, that's the second thing. So the first power supply, you need to do a little modification. Then the motherboard standoff, you need to modify a little bit. I'll have a video, uh, coming video. And also, every time you boot the system, you, you have to press F1. Without pressing F1, uh, you, you, you need to press F1 and ignore all this USB and the audio jack thing. There's some wearing, there's some modification need to, done, need to be done, but I didn't. So you need to do that. And uh, 
uh, until you fin uh, until you do that modification, uh, you have to press F1 and ignore all this so you can put it into window. Other than that, the system is running flawlessly. I'm not having any problem. Like I said, the only problem I was having uh, GTA 5 playing very high setting. I was I was I felt like there was a little bottleneck and stuff. Or I don't know if the GPU was giving me trouble or the CPU but the moment I went from very high setting to the high setting and it started running flawlessly as you guys can see there's no problem now when I was in high setting you know every time I tried to move around it was just freezing it was just freezing so now it's really really smooth so let's just do a real quick uh, uh, live gameplay for you guys so you guys could see the FPS and stuff so like I said it's just you know the system running flawlessly guys for 7 LS CPU you, you can't really go wrong you know you guys could pick up the CPU from eBay and pick up like a HP uh, motherboard and uh, you know you, you're, you're, you're all set so let's have some fun and uh, check code so I'm not playing online uh, you know just on the story mode so Alright, what do we got here? Alright, so let's have some fun. So as you can see, I'm hovering around uh, 75 to like 60, 60 something. Just having fun. So as you can see, even all this, so all the lowest I went up to like 49. Okay. I don't know if you guys could see the FPS, so I'm hovering around like right now because all this uh, explosion and everything going on. Uh, yeah. I don't know, I love this game. This game is crazy, guys. Yeah, I will kill me soon. love it guys so the system for $349 uh, I was planning on building this system for like around uh, $250 and I was planning on going with a uh, R9 uh, 270 but then I changed my mind and I was like you know what uh, I should just go with uh, you know I should just go with GTX 970 because definitely uh, worth spending money and uh, yeah, I think I'm dead. Yep. So, as you can see, there is no shutting, there is no bottlenecking. Okay, so let me just show you guys the setting real quick. Uh, the push on game, focus off. And as you can see, everything set like high setting okay the moment I jump in a very high setting that's when the problem come but other than that there's no problem if I, if I stay around like high setting uh, perfectly fine um, just hover around to this um, alright and also the resolution uh, 2560 by 1080 because I have the ultra wide uh, monitor so 60 hertz okay and if you go to advance as you can see uh, I have long shadow off high resolution shadow off uh, shadows off and the high detail streaming uh, while flying off as you can see I'm only using uh, 2263 MB of the VRM out of the 4096 now mind you you know the GTX 970 really doesn't have the uh, 4 gig of VRM like the high speed 4 gig of VRM it does have a uh, 
like a three and a half gig of high speed uh, VRM but the other 500 is a little slower but it's, as you can see I'm not even going all the way up there so perfectly fine I still think uh, GTX 970 is still worth picking up I got lucky I picked up for uh, picked up my GTX 960 from Craigslist for $150 but if you guys uh, check out UVGA V stock they, they have around for 179 or around 169 or 200 you could pick up a GTX uh, uh, 970 so let me know guys what do you guys think uh, let's steal a car right give me give me a car okay you can see this thing is running flawlessly. Damn, I need to find a better car. This car sucks. Let's find oh, oh yeah. Let's pick up that Mustang right there real quick. Yeah, let's pick that Mustang. So is it worth uh, spending $349? Now, okay, if I didn't have a CPU laying around from my old build, then I would have definitely gone with a uh, X5650 uh, processor, the 6 core. It's definitely worth uh, going with a X5650. And I think with the VIOS upgrade, uh, the HP Z400 motherboard will definitely support. So, yeah, but I have this CPU later on. I, I'm, I'm planning maybe later on, I'll definitely uh, pull my uh, W3530 out and, you know, maybe go with the X5650. And, uh, but if you do go with the X5650 and if you pick up like a Asus or a EBGA motherboard, but then you are jumping, you know, then you're paying for a motherboard almost $200 and that's what I didn't want it to do. That's the reason I picked up the HP Z400 uh, uh, motherboard. It was only 49 baht. So guys, as you can see, um, I just wanted to show you guys. So yeah guys, let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment below. I just wanted to show you guys that the system does perform well. It's not just I'm saying the system is uh, running flawlessly. So if, if you're a person who's uh, you know, it's planning on spending like around uh, 350 or you know, like if you if if you want to go with even a lower graphic card, you could go with the GTX 960 or a like a uh, AMD cards like a R R9 380 380X, or you could go with the RX 480. You know, whatever you feel like. So that's what I got. That's the deal I got. So that's why I built it with the GTX 970. If you plan on building with like a hundred dollar card, you can even go with the GTX 760 or a 960, and your system will be. You know, you could finish the system with around like 300 or what. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any questions, leave in the comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer you guys, and uh, I'll have an upcoming video showing a little bit more detail and stuff. And stay tuned for more videos, guys. And that should be it. I'm out. Peace. You guys have a good weekend.